three, two, one, go. Hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we will be reacting to another CJ the Champs video. It's going to be called Attack on Titan Season 4 is Smacking. I'm, I, I, I have watched it. I still don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. I have got a black so let's just jump into it. I gotta have my screen like this because the fact of the matter is the sun don't want me to be great. So it's gonna look like, it's just gonna look like sunbeams are beaming down on heaven, like from heaven, amen. Sort of a mental typo. Hallelujah. The ass fat ass right here. Like if I see this motherfucker disrespecting me, I'm sorry, but I'm swinging on his ass, bro. Like look at you, damn. <laughs> Let's go. Back. All right, y'all. It is time. It is time to talk about Attack on Titan Season 4. Let's go. Now, I'm going to say this real quick. Mm -mm. I am giving a fat ass spoiler warning right now. We's gonna be talking about the first three episodes of season four. So if you have not watched these episodes, do yourself a favor and get the f out because you will be spoiled. So go pop you some goddamn popcorn, go watch the episodes, then come back. But anyways, <clears throat> Attack on Titan season four is hitting. Like damn, it don't miss. It's always smacking. All right, so let's dive into episode one. <laughs> So we got my guy waking up on a whole ass battlefield. Looking like homie got amnesia or post nut syndrome. Looking like he just beat his meat to a bad video. He's regretting it now. Like, bro, at least do it in the trenches. But speaking of trenches, bro, we just went from like the damn apocalypse to damn World War One. Yeah. Girl, I remember when we didn't know shit about this show. We thought it was gonna be some apocalypse last of humanity survival last shit. And now we on some World War One type shit? Hey, yo. And that's why I was like, where the fuck, where, where are we? Like, I was so confused. I was so confused. I was like, where did we just go? Like, did, I thought like, honestly, honestly, when I, when I was watching it, I literally thought I skipped an episode and I was like, hold up. Why are we, why are we, why are we in a war zone? I, I had no idea. Props to the world building right here, man. Man, let me give that shit a round of applause. All right, so we cut back to my guy that's recovering from his post-nut syndrome. And we learned that his name is Falco. And then we got all these other random ass kids. So apparently this kid's a warrior candidate. And I guess whoever wins becomes a successor of the armored Titan. Because we know Titan Shift has only got like 13 years to live. And it only looks like 13. our boy Reiner's about to kick the bucket. But anyways, Reiner should have been dead. Like, I don't know how many times this nigga got murked and saved. Like, I'm not gonna say that he got, he, well, I mean, he is an armored Titan, but this nigga got more plot armor. He got more plot armor than some of these damn characters. I'm being dead serious. He should have died numerous of times, numerous, and he's still alive. I don't know how many times, like, Aaron, them, them up. I have no idea, but I'm like, you should have been dead. Should have been being captured, but it is what it is. That these kids are aliens, and these people from Marley are, uh, racist as f like, damn, they have brainwashed these motherfucking people to think that the Eldians are devils. Like, damn, bro, they some dirty ass bastards for that. Like, look at this musty ass fat ass right here. Like, if I see this motherfucker disrespecting me, I'm sorry, but I'm swinging on his ass, bro. Like, look at you. Damn. Out here sending my ass to die on the front lines, bitch. Your fat ass could probably block more bullets than me. So how about you take your old fat musty ass up there and go on the front lines yourself? Like, shit, if I use his big ass as a shield, shit, I'm not getting hit this big ass will block all the damn bullets man shit anyways which may, which pisses be which pisses be off because of the fact that about it is like it, like hearing them say about their situation it just reminds me of like like a dv victim it's like no i deserve that and i'm like bruh no you don't like bruh there's 800 of you all there's one of him mark him and call it a day and everything else. And what, what are you talking about? Wait, oh, God, and then this girl right here, she's like, hey, yo, I can say these people. I could go over there and run, run some stuff over there real quick. And then the guy's like, no, you're too valuable. And then she's like, she takes it as a She's like, I'm more valuable than 800 people. Like, oh my God, thank you for noticing. And it was just like, bitch, are you... 
I said these hoes be starved for attention. So all girl Gabby comes up with the idea. She's basically gonna try to be a damn suicide bomber. So of course the dude from Marley's like, shit, I don't give a fuck, I do it. Hey, but she was about it though. No, 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 no. She was not about, he was not about it in the first part. He was like, no, you're too valuable as a thing. And then she had to say like, no, I can do it. <laughs> I know these dudes in this bunker are like, why did we not shoot that bitch? Shit, I don't know. But look at the fat ass in the back, like, oh my gosh, she did it. Yes, yeah, she, she did, did it with your old hooker ass. Don't sound surprised, because I know your fat ass wasn't going to do shit. Hey, yo, but what is the celebration? What is that run? That damn Come Crash on. Bandicoot Mario yeah. ass run. Hey, but one of the Come homies on. in the bunker is fine. Ah. Started busting. Man, put out the MG and said, I'm about to bust a cap in this bitch. You know this dude got to be from Detroit. But God damn, he got some stormtrooper aim. Like, how can you not hit her? She is in the back ass open. And you can't hit her? Bro, sign this man up for the damn empire. Ugh, Mr. I mean, he was missing an eye. And he was missing an eye. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't have shot the little girl. How? Wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. Wait a minute. <laughs> That sounds really bad out of context, but I'm not saying that he should have shot the little girl, but like, if you, like for all the people that have, who are shooters out there who shoot guns and everything else, like I'm a left-handed shooter, but I close my, I close my, like my left eye to aim and everything else. So if my left eye, if my right eye gone, I, my, my aim will be off a little bit cause I'm so used to closing this eye versus this eye. You see what I'm saying? It, it, you'll find out. You'll find out if you ever go to like a gun range and stuff like that. Yeah, like you, like you, you will see it after you develop the right habits. You'll see which eye you prefer. Huh? Gun facts. Palpatine, uh, we got a stormtrooper for you right here. Good. <laughs> Bruh, but why did Falco bring his ass out here? Like, bro, I have you no already beat the fuck up and you're recovering from your damn post nut syndrome. Mm, he might be trying to smash. Hey, but look at the jaw tighten though. Man, I ain't gonna cap. That is a sick ass design right there. Bruh, homie with the MG is like, damn, damn, damn. That stormtrooper aim came back and bit him in the ass. Cause this man got flattened. Like, damn, you are not finding his corpse after that shit. So then we cut into this airship that looks like the damn Hindenburg. I'm telling y'all, I'm yeah. getting World War One vibes from this. So we got Zeke and Rhino up here in the airship, right? Yep. And a bunch of random ass people in straight jackets. And well, uh, let me say, I kind of feel bad for these dudes. Because this man Zeke turned them into Titans. Hey, I ain't gonna cap, but that's a nice ass light show. But bro, these Titans fell from the sky like a bombing run. <laughs> Now, this is what I wanted to get to right here. Now, since we all know... And I, I still think that that was stupid. Like, I still think it was stupid. Like, I'm... I, now, now, this is... This is just me critiquing... Critiquing this part. I really think it was stupid because I know if you got any lower, people would have been able to see it, okay? I under, I understand that. I, I get... I, I get... I get that and everything else. But because they dropped him from such a high height half of them dead like and i understand that they look at these people as in like less than but i mean like like half of your assets that you dropped on the ground to help you out just died and that's like i mean like i just think it's just fucked up <laughs> that the animation studio switched over and now mop is doing attack on titan and a lot of people were complaining about the titans being cgi when they came to me i really don't give a shit like I I didn't even know. I didn't even care about the Titans looking. The Titan looking different isn't what threw me. It's the characters looking different is what threw me. Cause I'm like, okay, you know what, whatever. But the characters looking different. When I couldn't tell my waifu, which I got, I, I got three. Okay, I'm, I'm flashy. And now I got these bad bitches in the crib with me. Okay, I got three. All right, but um, I. I really, 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 really didn't care that the Titans changed. The Titans was fine. Everybody, when I can't, 
Mika's son, I couldn't tell who she was. And I was like, when did she get tits? Really, nigga? It was so much. It was so much at one time. I feel like Mappa's doing fine in all honesty. Like, they got other shit like Jujutsu Kaisen they got to animate and all that. And to be honest with you, they are carrying the f*** out of 2020 anime. Like, Mappa's back gotta hurt. <laughs> so anyways, I don't care if the Titans are CGI. They look fine to me. Uh, moving on. Hey, yo, these anti-Titan rounds are smacking the f*** out of Reiner, bro. Like, whole ah! lost his hand. He and deserve he it. bum rushed that shit, though. But right in front of a cannon. Oh shit! Oh, hey yo, I thought Ryan was about to get his brains blown out. Right the John Titan comes in clutch. Hey, but this man said some mad disrespectful shit. He said, "You son of a." Bro, you disrespectful ass nigga. Ooh, bro, I'm smacking that ugly ass top hat off your motherfucking head, nigga. Damn, look, you know what? Put me in there, coach. Mm, anyways, yo, this jaw titan is out here doing some ultra instinct type shit. This man dodging all the damn bullets. Hey, but this man Reiner said, I right, fuck this train, bro. This man stood up and started spinning around and started singing, Ring around the rosy. I'm throwing this damn train in the wall. That's how you do it. Hey, but here comes this man Zeke, though. And we cannot forget about this man's legendary arm. So he chucks that shit. Hey, but hold on. The battleships hit him with the full counter. And boy, Ryder got shot the f*** up. K.O. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I thought this man was dead. He dead. He should have been. Godly, bro. Man, Ryan gets saved. More than, more than like, more than like random kids in anime. Like he just gets saved constantly over and over and over again. You know what Reiner needs to go up again? Truck Coon. Truck Coon will kill him. He'll kill him. I, I promise. I promise. Insert Truck Coon. Truck Coon kill him. <laughs> But it's all good though because Z kissed him with the stick. Get y'all asses out of here. So homie just basically threw the pitch to end the war. And then we had this old mystery man right here. Out here paying 25 cents for the damn newspaper. Hey, but anyways, uh, that was episode one basically. On to episode two. <laughs> Anyways, this man Ryder has mad PTSD. Like, homie just woke up with the whole last Vietnam flashback. <laughs> oh, it seems to me it's obvious that this man Galliar has beef with Reiner. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out about that later. Hey, yo, just... the chick with the crutch is kind of bad, though. All right, so I have no clue who this kid in the glasses is, but just by looking at him, he pisses me off. Like, this man literally uttered, like, what, three sentences, and I don't like this kid. Like, he just seems like a bitch-ass nigga off a of first glance. Like, I I'm sorry. And here comes Ryder, and oh my god, that PTSD is really kicking in yeah, now. Yeah, it Ooh, is. somebody acting mad sus for standing up there. I wonder who the f*** that is. I might have to call an emergency meeting on that nigga. Hey, but they get lit though on the train! Hey, yo, why did this man hey. Reiner just get Falco the business, though? Man, it was like, you got too much dip on your chin, little nigga. Bro, how old are you? You should not be drinking at this age. All right, so everybody's finally home and shit. Hey, yo, was that the fat ass back from the trenches? Yo, how did this nigga not die? Why is he injured? He ain't did nothing. Like, like, what did he do? I, somebody put in the comments below besides being very racist. Like, what did he do? What did he accomplish? But look at this dude out here playing with them too. These dudes are clearly not right in the head after the war, my guy. And you just gonna fuck with him like that? Bro, every time I see this ugly bastard on my damn screen, he pisses me off even more. And I don't even know his damn name yet. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Kosolo. Well then, <clears throat> uh, fuck you, Mr. Kosolo. Hey, I don't know about this guy right here, but this dude is out here looking mad sus. Like, this dude is looking mad sus. <laughs> like, they even took the time to give this random ass person a whole scene. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go back to our Reiner and uh, his brainwashed ass family. So they're like, oh yeah, tell your war stories, bro. Tell us about your time on the island with the devils. All right, so there's this one bitch that just ate a potato all the damn time. Then there's this one girl that really wanted the protagonist stick. There was this one guy that looks like a girl, but he's actually fucking smart as hell. And then there was this crazy ass bastard that wanted to kill all the fucking titans. I think I might have caused his mom getting eaten by one. Shit. Like this man had his whole family shook. Look at 
look at the mama, bro. She like, damn. I didn't need to know all that shit. <laughs> all right, children, dinner's over. Damn, somebody really just decided to eat it all. Oh my God, Peek! Her ass is just tooted up. All right, so this man Zeke apparently has like a whole ass plan to stop all the Eldian racist bullshit. So they need help from the Tiber family. I don't know who the hell they are, but they sound hella interesting. Shit, that was basically episode two. Episode three. <laughs> Now this is the episode I've been waiting to talk about. It's okay. basically the Reiner backstory. And god damn this shit was good. All right, so we figured out that Reiner's dad is a Marleyan and him and his mom are aliens. So he wanted to be a warrior so he could be a Marleyan. That's wild. Damn, they really got these kids running in the rain with a whole ass rifle and a yeah. big ass backpack on their damn back. All right, so the backstory no jutsu is really kicking in right now. So this is when Porco and Reiner's beast basically started. But Reiner was really a snitch. He was like, I'll report you to the commander. Oh my God. Is that Annie? Right, yeah. it's been a fat minute since we've seen Annie. She, you know, she just still uh, chilling in that damn crystal. Oh my God, bro, she just abused that grasshopper. Yo, why does this scene look like a whole ass Call of Duty cutscene when they're explaining these titans and their powers? Bro, I right, yeah. like female titan. Look at that roundhouse kick. This is <laughs> operated by operator Annie Lionheart. Next up, we got the armor. This big ass motherfucker is basically gonna be our shield. That that constantly gets fucked. <laughs> Bro, I'm being dead serious, man. I be like, people be like, oh, you know what? Certain people be taking L's. No, this nigga constantly take L's. I'm like, what? Why are you? I know why he's there. He's not. He's not on Yamcha's level. But I'm like, why? Like, dude, like you can't catch a break. Now you got PTSD. By Operator Reiner, bro. Next up, we got our assault weapon, the Jaw Titan. It may be small, but damn, it's fast. The operator for this Titan is Operator Marcel. Next up, we got the Beast Titan. This hairy ass motherfucker has the arm of Tom Brady, mixed with Derek Jeter and LeBron James on the wing. And, oh, no, no, what you not gonna do is you not gonna, you not gonna not name my, my quarterback, okay? I am a big, 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 big. Aaron Rodgers fan and literally the way that he be throwing them rocks bruh sometimes it look like a Hail Mary attempt and it actually connects I just wish I just wish I just wish our right receivers could catch a fucking ball anyway but I put that on there oh you had to get it with his hair transplants was coming in oh man I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do you dirty like I ain't gonna do you dirty like that dog I ain't gonna do you dirty like that man LeBron I ain't gonna do you dirty like that there you go a little head that doesn't look like a... really nigga that's a submarine keep going this titan will be operated by that nigga zeke <laughs> next up we got the car titan now god damn this thing is ugly but it has great endurance so our homegirl peak is gonna be driving this man shit. Last, captain save a hole right there that it's literally a fucking walking <laughs> This will be operated by that nigga Comrade Bird. All right, so Porco was the only one that didn't get any Titan powers, and Reiner ended up beating him. But yo, <laughs> this shit is gonna get hella interesting real soon. Man, they gave these whole kids a whole damn parade. But you know what? As I really think about this shit, this shit is really fed up. Like they really yeah. out here making kids do this shit, and it's hella messed up. So Reiner really? ends up meeting his dad in some old ass shack, and of course the dad doesn't want shit to do with him. Like this motherfucker really meant it when he said, "All right, nigga, I'm going to get some damn." Milk. So they leave for the island, and yo, this is where this shit gets mad juicy. So the reason why Reiner was picked as the armored titan was because Marcel wanted to save his bro. So Reiner wasn't supposed to be picked as a warrior at all. Oh my god. So my life has been a lie the whole damn time. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm play because they only get 13 years, and then you die type thing. And I'm like... So you basically got 13 years and you just like, whatever. So then it shows the scene where Marcel gets gobbled up by Ymir. Bro, she ate that nigga with no salt and pepper. So they all ran away and my guy Reiner is acting like a whole ass bitch right now. Like his whole world has been rocked at this moment. So they all meet up again and Andy says they should go home. But of course Reiner wants to complete the mission. So Andy starts beating the shit out of him. Oh my God, she is stomping his ass out. Damn. Bro, she just caught a body. How about a week ago, a week ago. Fuck with us and then we tweaking, ho, tweaking, ho. Run up on that nigga, get the squeezing, ho. But shit, it ain't over. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? Goodness gracious.
gracious, this man has risen from the dead. A whole ass zombified Reiner. Bro, he is choking this bitch out. Bro, he put that hoe to sleep. So after they had that little squabble, they decide to attack the wall. And we see the first episode from their perspective. And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I look at the first episode so differently now after I watch this episode. Like, man, if you think about it, these are kids out here doing this shit. They are thinking that, oh my God, these are monsters doing this shit. Nah, these are motherfucking kids. Bro, this whole episode to me was just wild. Like, this might be my favorite episode in this entire series. So they kind of show what our little trio of Annie, Reiner, and Berto did while they were inside the wall. And then there was this weird ass scene with Annie and Kenny. Now she said that Kenny was her father. And I was like, wait, what the f But I did some research and Kenny is not Annie's father. Bro, I was like, yo, we gonna have to take this shit to the Maury show. You are not. <laughs> So apparently Annie was basically a whole less lone wolf because she was not f with these two. Wow, Aaron in the flashback. This must be the first time we're seeing him in this season, right? <laughs> so we come back to the present and my guy Ryder got the whole gun in his mouth. He want to end it all. But he thinks of his Nakama, his friends, the ones he must protect. And yeah, so uh, basically the power of friendship one here. Hey, bro, I really do like Reiner as a character now. Like, this is some A-tier ass character development. All right, so we cut back to Falco. And oh, what do you know? It's that guy that's bad sus out here waving at him. Man, I don't know about this guy, bro. He really is speaking like an anime protagonist. Yeah, uh, f*** it, bro. That's f***ing Aaron. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I picked up on this man back in episode two. This man was acting mad sus. <laughs> but anyway, that's basically episode three. So overall, like I said, Bro, attack on Titan is smacking. This shit is good. This is that good shit that we have been needing in 2020. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hell, episode four is coming out soon. I might react to it. You never know. So anyway. So that is that is that is Attack on Titans season four. Uh it's back. I mean it put a lot of more things in perspective because my like like I'm gonna tell you, like I I I, I I didn't know what was going on. I was like, bro, I, I I must have missed something. I must have missed something. I must have missed something. But this was a lot of things in perspective. Now, I mean, like, it just still sucks, you know, because it still sucks because I still hate that these. <sighs> it's so easy to hate something when you don't know what it is. Oh, put it like this, it's easier to hate something when you, your understanding is based off of a logical choice. But then right when you start realizing and figuring out like these Titans didn't have no fuck, these Titans didn't really have, didn't really have a choice. These kids are just being put in these effed up situations and you're like, but I lost my favorite nigga though. <laughs> It just makes it feel weird because you like where you where you where you was where you were sitting ain't the same seat, you know what I'm saying? So again, that that this was uh this was DJ the champ. Uh so I will leave links to the original video from him down below. Uh if it wasn't for them, I couldn't do what I like to do here is edit and give y'all funny content and commentary. Uh, again, my name is Shay too sweet. You call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, like, and subscribe, please. And share my content, please. Nah, you, you ain't got to if you don't want to. All right. So long. <laughs>
No, it just look like I'm filming in heaven now. Jesus. Hold on. Is it? Oh, no. Now I have on my head. Is it? Is this settled? What the hell? Okay. I think that's less. Is that less distracting, you guys? I'm acting like this a live stream right now. This is not a live stream, Shay. They cannot respond back to you. Yeah, fuck your ears, I'm pandering. I but I feel like this is less distracting than, than like the me having a chronos on top of my damn forehead. Last one. Th